Tonight we're going to be demonstrating the fifth Gokyo from the Gokyo no Waza. And um, my Uki tonight is going to be uh, Gene Carey. He's uh, a Shodan, and I really enjoy working with him. And there are eight throws in the fifth Gokyo, and we're going to start with a technique called Osoto Guruma. Uh, o in Japanese means major, Soto means outside. So we're doing a major reaping to the outside, and Guruma in Japanese means wheel. So we're doing a major outside uh, uh, wheel, if you will. And it looks something like this. Generally, you always want to attack Uki in a, in a fighting competitive situation. Uh, a good time to hit this throw is when uh, your opponent has his feet somewhat close together. A wide, a wide shoulder stance is very difficult to get Osoto Guruma. So his feet are somewhat close together. And then I'm, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to get this technique by stepping to the outside, and then my right leg is going to come back and I'm going to sweep or reap both of his legs out from underneath him. Osoto Bruma. in the fifth Gokyo is called Ukiwaza. It's, uh, in English, it would be translated uh, a floating technique. Waza always refers to technique in Japanese. And this is a, this is a, a floating sacrifice throw, Ukiwaza. And what I want to do is I want to kind of step in with my right leg this leg is going to come down over his right leg, and it's going to be somewhat uh, over his right foot. And then I'm going to throw him to the diagonal. So I come in, pop, and throw him to the diagonal. Ukiwaza. Looks like this. Now sometimes we like to take a modified grip on Ukiwaza because we're not always fighting with the traditional grip. Our hand isn't always on the right lapel. Our, hand, our left hand isn't always on the left elbow. Sometimes we like to take underhooks, and underhooks are very effective. And with Ukiwaza, if I can underhook my opponent as I'm, as I'm kind of in wrestling style like this, then I want to just drop down, and I can stay right on top of them, and I can get into groundwork if I want. Ukiwaza. So you can tie up with an individual and just drop. Boom. And then get right into groundwork or an arm bar or some other type of technique. But that's Ukiwaza, the floating technique. The next throw is called Yoko Wakeri. Yoko in Japanese means side. And uh, Wakeri. Help me on that one. Separation. separation. Uh, side separation. Because Yoko, I'm going to be going to the side. Some people will throw both legs out in uh, front of Uki. Some people will just throw their left leg out and their right leg stays, stays in, a, in, a, in a bent fashion. So it looks like this. Some people throw like this and throw to the side. Side separation. They have this foot up as their power driver, and they drive off of the mat with this. Some Tori, the individual that's throwing, some people prefer to put both legs out and do the separation in that fashion. Uh, either way is good, but Yoko Wakari. Side separation. The next technique in the fifth is called Yoko Guruma. Again, Yoko meaning side. Guruma we had in the first throw in Japanese meaning uh, wheel. Uh, Gene is going to come in for uh, like an ogoshi 
and I'm going to counter it by stepping around and uh, throwing him with the side wheel. So as he steps in, I like to grab the collar, I like to step around grab the belt, step around the side, and drop and throw. Yoko Guruma. The next technique is called Yusuragoshi. It is, it is a reverse rear hip throw. Gene will be coming in for a technique called Koshi Guruma, which is a head wheel. And I'm going to counter him by grabbing him around the waist. Sometimes you can grab him by the belt, depending on how big your opponent is. Sometimes you can just lift and drop him to his back. If he's a big opponent, sometimes I like to add my left knee. And I use my knee for lifting and for uh, strength getting him off the mat. Yusuru Goshi. Reverse rear hip throw. Yusuragoshi. The next technique is called Uranagi. Uh, Ura meaning uh, back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ura meaning back. Uranagi. And uh, I'm simply, this is, this is somewhat similar to Yokogruma, only I'm not stepping around to the side of my opponent. I'm going to attack him direct on. This works really good when your opponent is pushing against you. Again, I like to take a high grip. I grab him by the belt. I just drop down and I fire him back. You're not me. The next technique is called Sumiyotoshi. It's a corner drop because in Sumiyotoshi, generally you're always moving forward and you're always dropping your opponent to the diagonal. So as I'm moving in this direction, give him a little bit more space here, a little bit more room. As I'm moving in this direction with my opponent, I like to wheel him in that fashion. Sumiyotoshi. So as we step to the diagonal, I wheel it. And then finally, we're looking, looking at Yokogaki. Uh, sometimes I've pronounced it geek, but Sensei uh, Philip Porter, my longtime sensei and friend, recently passed away. Always pronounced it Gaki. And Sensei Porter spent a lot of time with Sumiyuki Gotani and Otaki from Japan. And he spent a lot of time in Japan at the Kodokan. Sumiyuki Gotani actually promoted him to uh, Godan, promoted him to Rokudan, and uh, they, were, they were very close. So if Sensei Porter pronounces it Gaki, I think that's the way I should pronounce it also. And uh, this technique, <coughs> Gaki always means a dashing downward, or uh, sometimes you might refer to it as a posting, if you will. But whenever you're in movement with your opponent, you can get your opponent stepping forward on this foot. Yoko Gaki is always a dashing down on top of the foot, a posting, and then I'm going to wheel him to that diagonal. So as he steps, I post and then I wheel to that diagonal. As he steps, I post and I wheel. Yoko Gake. Now Yoko, uh, Yoko Gaki, excuse me. Yoko Gaki can also be done to the side. You can post and dash to the side and throw him in a, in a Yoko Otoshi fashion, if you will. So, so as I'm attacking my opponent, I could come to the side of his foot and attack and drop down and I throw him that in that direction also. Helps if there's movement. But that's Yokogaki. And that is the fifth Gokyo no Waza. The eight techniques of the fifth. Thank you very much, Gene. Good job.